Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. It is March 3rd, 2023. I am your host, Cody Coster. With me from Wheaton, Illinois, Andy Fallman. Andy, how you doing? Did you pronounce it Wheaton? Is it? It's a hard H. Wheaton? Wheaton. Is it Wheaton, Illinois or Wheaton, Illinois? I think it's Wheaton, Illinois. From Wheaton, Illinois. Well, at least we got that straight. Did you get a bunch of snow yet? We're supposed to get a big old snowstorm or something like that. We have not. I'm, I'm sure as soon as you guys do, it'll come across the lake there, and we'll probably get it tonight, I, I imagine. Are you going to shovel your neighbor's driveway? Uh, probably going to have to. That's what nice guys do. That's what nice guys do. Do nice guys finish last still, or how does that work? I forgot. No, like, I do believe like, I should stop still? doing that. All right. Fair enough. All right. Well, all right. So we uh, we actually have two requests from our good friend Mark in Michigan today, but we are going to start out with a little little CME cheese today. We'll see me chatter. Gosh, I don't know, man. What do you think of this one? It's kind of do or die time. It is pretty well do or die time around that one seventy mark that we've had for the past couple of weeks. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, almost five this week. Not quite. So this is a, this is after cash today, right? And right. so this is the weekly close. This is how this this is how this chart's going to look to like to close in terms of on a weekly basis, right? I don't know. People are looking at this and saying like it's you know attempting to round out. Why couldn't it at least go test you know a dollar eighty? That's only another four or five cents from here, right? And that would be testing all this stuff right here. But all in all, I mean, it feels sideways. It's still in a very long term, like down trend. And so if you were to rally a little bit, you could still say that it's still, you know, like downward facing, so to speak. Right. And then yeah. same thing is right here. So there's some room for it to to, to move higher and futures. I don't know. Futures have been uh, pretty premium here. What do you got? May 84 half, June touching the dollar 90. So all in all. I mean, it, there's some room, I guess, in terms of like being able to purchase cheese, especially with how, much, how big of a spread there is between the block and the barrel, right? I mean, there's, what is it after today? 37 and a half cents. So yeah, I mean, this thing, look, look it's got some room to move higher. I, I think if it does, like, you know, we've seen in the past for the block, you get it over like two bucks and you see multiple sellers showing up. I don't see any change from that. You know, the barrel, I think it could go trade 160. We saw a ton of load cheese trade today. What, like 20 loads? 20 loads today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that could go trade $1.60 and, and still be, I'd still say like, that's, you know, okay. But I mean, I don't think it goes much more than that. But, you know, that's that's all you would need is, is to take us back into this whole area right here. So to me, probably would rather be like a seller at rally, so to speak, especially with futures that are already maintaining a premium from this point. But, you know, conversely, we're obviously looking at this dollar seventy point and saying like, you get it closed below that and then an open lower on the next candle. And that's got a lot of weakness written all over it. But yeah, going to do or die time here at $1.70. Yeah. And uh, you had mentioned it before you break through $1.70 on the downward side there. And uh, maybe <laughs> maybe find some more support at one sixty. But it looks more or less kind of where you have the chart. The line move there at $1.50 is, is where there's been some a very hefty areas of support. Yeah. It's been a sideways trade. It's been a sideways trade for sure. Futures are pointing a little bit higher, but again, I, I I don't, I wouldn't want to get super excited about getting long until you have, you at least break this right here, Mm -hmm. um, break through it and then have like an open higher conversely too. like, I don't think you're going to see an aggressive sell off in the futures from this point until you get through dollar 70, right? Because with the market showed us today, especially in the barrel that there's people that are willing to draw a line in the sand for some size, you know, below a dollar 55. We'll see. I don't know. What is, uh, does the hammer have anything to say about this one? No, man. When it's kind of a sideways trade, I don't think the hammer comes into much of play. Wow. Here. All right. So the hammer's dormant right now. It's, it's dormant. It's waiting. We're waiting. All right. Fair enough. All right. Let's go to the next one. Piggies. This is May Lean Hogs. I wrote piggies here just because why not? Now, did this one come in request, by the way? You said we had a few requests. This did. Yep. This one came from our good friend, Mark in Michigan. And you want to look at hogs? Okay. Thank you, Mark in Michigan. I think when I look at this, what I would want to be concerned about, so you have this, then you have right here. What's just, I guess, I guess I look at it and say like the potential for a head and shoulders to, to, to pan out is, is really starting to kind of take shape, right? Where you have another move up and then you, you, you take it back down. And then, you know, if you were to crack through 92 cents, you know, not only would you be, you know, going through this head and shoulders, and that would be a pretty bearish move, but also too, you will have effectively completely filled that gap. Yeah. 
right? And when I say filled it, I mean with like an actual close. We did it here on this candle right there, but you never actually closed through it. So it's it's hard to say that you've actually effectively completely filled the whole thing. I think it would be a lot more concerning if, again, you had this head and shoulders pattern play out and then filled this, right? So this looks, I think you gotta be a little bit careful here. This looks weak. You've also got some moving averages too that are kind of holding their ground here, so to speak, you know, with in terms of like current prices maintaining beneath them. Yeah, this to me looks like it's got a potential head and shoulders panning out and then you want to be super careful at 92 cents. It's also coming after, you know, you've, you had this, let's assume that starts to play out and you get a higher, a lower high right here. Mm -hmm. It's also playing out after you've managed to have a pretty nice, healthy break. Right. And so it's, it would be somewhat of a confirmation of this break. And I think that would be like, you'd want to be considering that as like the next measurement. Right. And so let's say you break through 92 cents, you just take this line. Lay it right on top of there. That would be the target having 84 cents. It's interesting. So I started looking at it on a monthly chart also. And a, a pretty big M formation Oof, look at that. is uh, is lighting itself up. It is pretty wicked. And I think the interesting thing, so that, that small uh, wick right there is March, which we're only three days into. But mm -hmm. as you mentioned before, look at February's. You could not engulf and settle above all of January's move to completely, you know, possibly protect propel us a little bit higher in there. I mean, it stopped, we got above it, but we didn't, we didn't settle, settle above that full yeah. move right there. Yeah. No, I'd be a little bit concerned about, you know, a break here, especially after having this break right here. So yeah, I guess if I was, if I was looking at it and saying like, you know, what, what would you want to be doing next? I don't know if, if you started to run into this kind of traffic right here and let's say you got to like 95 cents and just could not get through it and couldn't, you know, test this former high. What is that? 97.65 or 97.675. I mean, you got to clear that, right? Yeah. If you don't, then you have this, you know, this head and shoulders planning out. I think you got to start thinking about 84 cents. Pretty high prices relative to what we've seen or coming off some pretty high prices relative to what we've seen in the past too. So it's somewhat, you know, you could make the argument too that, you know, going back to your monthly, you could be looking at somewhat of like a mean reverting type trade, mm. right? Where I'm just eyeballing this, but that's kind of the middle ground of all that, right? And that's over several years. So that's taking it back to 65 cents. So a little careful of them piggies. Yeah. Just a little careful. This is the next one, right? Stocks. Yep. Well, S and P little S and P. What are you doing with your 401k? What are you doing? You buying it? Cool. Uh, well, looking at this chart, I think I would. Is that the hammer talking or is that you talking? I, I, I think that's me talking. I don't think the hammer is quite out just yet. We got, we got one more chart for the hammer. This one's just me personally. Okay. Got it. So this is Cody Koster retirement extraordinaire. You know, what do you want to do with your 401k, mortgage your house, buy some stocks? Exactly. Exactly. You sell your lawnmower, buy the stocks. You buy two lawnmowers when you're done. Um, I mean, it's got a nice little healthy close. This is today's close, right? Or this is today's session. I guess we still haven't closed it. It's only one o'clock central. But I mean, I, I guess it sticks out to me. And we know your opinion. So it sticks out to me is that, I mean, this looks like this has the making of like you call this like wave one mm -hmm. and then, you know, you've retraced this retracement may be too big to call it that. But if this, if, if we are like, you know, shaping up to see some sort of like Elliott wave type move, yeah, then you'd want to have, you'd want to take this and this line right here, you know, let's just do that. You would want to take this one and add, like call it 25%. Right. So I'm just going to eyeball it a little bit, but just say like right to there. And then you'd want to take that from where it breaks out from. So depending on where you feel the breakout should be, and is it today? I mean, might be, right? I mean, this is yeah. a pretty healthy little, little breakout right here. You know, then you'd, you'd want to be looking at 4,400. And, and to your point, I mean, around this this point of 4,000 right here is we don't, the market does not sit still for a very long period of time. No, it doesn't. That's a good point. Going back even into last year, it is not like this price point. No, I mean, it's, it, shoot, I mean, psychologically, those even, those, you know, those big, even 4,000, you know, like it's, it's not 4,010, it's 4,000. So, yeah, no, I mean, this strong close today, get an open higher on uh, on Monday. And the, like you could, I think at the very least, the next step would be to test all this noise, mm -hmm. which, you know, if we, shoot, if we got above that, haven't been above that since, what is this, August of last year? Yes, that's what I got. All right. So Cody Koster, extraordinaire, financial advisor, dairy trader, lawnmower, sell everything you own and buy stocks is what you're saying. 
Time to get long the S&P again, everybody. All right, there you go. So to round it out. You know what else is time to get long, Andy? <laughs> you know what else? It's time to get long. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got, there it is. There it is. There I it is. I it. I knew I labeled this thing. One of, our, one of our favorites, a Tech Talk original. All right. So were you trying to catch the falling knife here? What happened? What's going on? Oh, boy. That was a, a wicked couple of, what, we got five days, five, six days there? Mm-hmm. Good night. So for those that aren't familiar with the expression, trying to catch the falling knife, is you have you know markets, they tend to, what's the expression? They tend, bears tend to fall, jump out the window, bulls tend to climb up the stairs. Yeah. So when you have these big, quick breaks, you try to buy it and you know, try to catch the bottom, so to speak. Sometimes you end up catching, trying to catch a falling knife and your hands get a little bloody. So you're, you're buying this right here. Even after this, you want to own this. Let me go back a second and just wear a little egg on my face. Last time that we did this chart, I was completely wrong because I was definitely a buyer uh, up around that 680 mark because, you know, we, we kind of talked about possibly propelling itself back to $7. Uh, we were kind of in the sideways trade, but it looked like things were really about to move. Well, mm-hmm. they moved, uh, not in the way that I had anticipated. Or so thought. when you say egg on you, like, you mean like you pick up an egg and you're just going to like splatter? A hundred percent. Probably two eggs, maybe three. Three? Man. It was bad. Did, we we didn't look at this like, one. We looked at it very well. Didn't anticipate what was going to happen. You, you and I had come in here and even said at 660, there was some support. Okay, you get down to 550 support, 640, there's support. And by golly, it just broke through every channel of support that you and I had possibly golly. talked about in the past four weeks. You must have a lot of eggs like floating around your house. Or maybe well, go to the supermarket a lot. I don't know. That's true. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. But I tell you what, looking at this chart right now, it looks like we're starting to kind of round ourselves out a little bit. Head higher, as you said. Steady as she goes. Bulls tend to climb the stairs. I think you want to be a little careful here of the potential for, if you if, if, if this is indeed a buy, and I'm not saying it's not, but if this is indeed a buy, I think you'd want to be a little careful of a potential like W. Mm-hmm. Because you, you see that a lot after these types of breaks. Right where you, you start to get like, oh, is this going to be a V bottom, and you you, know, you take off? Maybe it is. Um, I'd w- I just want to be a little bit leery of that, and you know, maybe save a little bit of save a, little, a few rounds in the chamber, so to speak, to be able to buy into like a kind of like a, a setback of that. Because this is, I mean, this is a wicked break. Yeah, and you've got every moving average working against you now buying it, right? And so, like, this is it's a pretty wicked break. It, it I guess, if at the very least, I'd want to be covering shorts. I think the next two days are going to be pretty critical with this type of a chart because you know what i, I guess what i would be afraid of is this something like that yeah right there. it's a great point be super mindful of that and so i think you can I, I agree i think you can own it i would just want to be like you know you, if you see something like this i would be quick to exit yeah because you could qu- very quickly retrace you know any sort of gains obviously this market has no no qualms about breaking quickly when it wants to so i think it's like if, if conversely, like if something like this starts to shape up, start being mindful of this, right? Where if you have a few candles that start to move higher and then get some sideways trade, that right there is, I think, a much better indication. Um, so you can probably own it right now, but I just want to be super mindful of like candles like that. But if you do get a consolidation like this over here, then it would it, it, it would lend itself to wanting to add to that long to those longs. It's a great point. There's some psychology to it too. You know, like if you're you're short into this and you're starting to get, you know, you're not getting paid every day all of a sudden, like, oh, you know, I should have got out the bottom, but like, here we are. And, and then now we're kind of climbing ourselves very, but you still haven't even gotten all these losses back from the 28th. So like I said, just being super careful, but you could also start to trigger some folks that come in and, and you know, liquidate. <laughs> but then at the same time, again, you want to be super careful of, the potential for this to happen. So yep. I kind of feel like I'm talking in circles a little bit, but hey, it's all right. It's Friday. Yeah, I can be a little bit long. What is so what does the hammer of truth have to say? Oof. I as of right now, short term, short term, hammer of truth is a is a buyer for sure. So just shake that thing. I mean just I love like just like the whole thing just shakes. Like your whole screen, everything just shakes when you cool. smash that thing on the ground. One of these days, my desk is just going to implode, and that's all right. For the Hammer of Truth and Tech Talk, we're willing to we'll sacrifice. All right. So rounding out the show, I just you know for the next time we're together, there may or may not be a new little surprise in the mix. I'm just saying. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. There's no commentary beyond that. 
don't ask any questions because I'm not going. You're not going to get any answers. You'll you'll have to tune in and see what the surprise is. Correct. Good surprise, bad surprise. I, I just told you I'm not going to answer any questions. Right, like, fair enough. I thought there you could go. You just you don't even have to rewind that much for for you to have found that I just said that. <laughs> Let's try to poke and pry a little bit. Get get the viewers excited. But I appreciate it. But maybe that excites them even more. The fact that I'm just like that quick to just like shut you down. That's it. It's over. All right. Well, I guess everybody, you're gonna have to tune in next time to Tech Talk to see what the big surprise is surprise. for Mandy. But as far as this show, Mark, we appreciate you emailing in, oh, yeah, looking at these charts. Uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in every week that we do this. If you are not a subscriber of the channel already, please go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, um, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell the trash man when he comes by on Wednesday and Thursday. Everybody needs to watch Tech Talk. You have two days of trash. Well, each side of the road. One, one side's Wednesday, one side's Thursday. Oh, wow. Michigan's a weird state, man. We don't ask very many questions. We just live here for the nice water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you, you soon. You should do those pure Michigan commercials. <laughs> You'd be the one that does those. <laughs> you guys don't have, like, garbage one side or the other? No. Oh. My garbage is weird. That's it.